You went through a whole pandemic. So why don't you just remove the fear of looking dumb, being embarrassed, not being consistent. Like you've done harder things than just being consistent for seven days on TikTok. Followers do matter, but at the same time, that's not something that is going to make or break you. What is SEO? SEO is what people are searching for. SEO is search engine optimization. So when you go on Google and you type in certain things, YouTube or Pinterest, that is SEO. I've talked about it before. I wanted to figure out what happened with Adam Levine. Like what? Why is everyone talking about him? I went on TikTok and I said, what happened with A? The first thing that came up because the SEO is so amazing. If niche is totally intimidating for you, think about your target market. Be open-minded. What else does your target market like? She might be a mom that really wants to get healthy again. Stop being burnt out. Self-care. Maybe you're really into beauty. You want to talk to new aspiring entrepreneurs. Here's the thing. Let's say that you are following someone for cactus. You want to learn everything about cactus. You go on her page and she's giving you makeup tutorials. I wanted to see your cactus. Why are you telling me how to make my eyebrows bob? I know some people blow up without a niche. We're just telling you what has worked for us. This is how you're going to look for your terms that are going to help your videos rank and find your ideal client. Go into the search bar of your TikTok. Look up things that you want to talk about. So let's say I'm going to be doing more like healthy mom things. Mom morning routine. Now look at everything that comes up. It's just like YouTube, just like Pinterest, just like Google. Not only video idea, but it's also hashtag and title. Previously, I was talking about making sure that you do the last three months. Here's the thing. The algorithm changes so much. Play around with what's going on. What happened yesterday? What did they post this month? See what videos are still getting that attraction. Go into the videos, click on them and look all of those hashtags working, drinking high. If you have an iPhone, screenshot that. Copy paste those and have them the same way that you used to have your hashtags for Instagram. These are searchable. We're going to put pause, go into an SEO checklist. You're going to either record or upload your video. Get into the habit of adding captions. This is not for aesthetics. It's literally for TikTok to know your SEO. If you're telling me how to do a scalp treatment, if you're telling me about your business, if you want to explain more about how to get started with you, turn on those captions. Make them readable. Don't try to be fancy. Either keep your brand colors or just do black or white. There's all of these different fonts. You'll be able to change your colors and fonts. Once you click save, you can make them smaller and bigger. That's where you are going to copy paste your hashtag. It used to be that you just add like two or three hashtags and then a few little keywords with all of the fun updates. TikTok wants to be taken serious. They don't want to be just a dancing platform. They want to be an information based platform that people see value. Write your description, write your recipe, write your step-by-step. -step. TikTok is so smart. Like I'm telling you, take advantage of this. Now you're gonna go to select cover. I'm gonna give you examples, especially for you, the fear of not being aesthetic. I know who you are. Once you hit that select cover, you can pick any of the covers here. You will be able to pick something simple. I'm gonna show you some examples of how they do it, okay? Here you go. Screenshot this, that's your checklist that you're gonna do. The research, write my caption, make sure to add my captions and my cover, and we can move on. I did get a few screenshots of ways that a few of the bigs have done it, and they are thriving in pretty much most of their videos. I do believe that's why pretty much all of her videos are a few thousand because the algorithm knows exactly what she's talking about. Sarah, the basic font, she doesn't have any cover. They can be like, oh, I want to know about that hair tip. I want to know about this tea that won her over. This guy right here, I love his energy. Look how clean it looks. Very simple. Here are a few other examples. I understand that you may be so used to Instagram and the way that we've done it for years now, but it's okay to grow. It's okay to have change. Let me, let me stop. Let's talk really quick again. You went through a whole pandemic. If you started this business prior to the pandemic, you have to completely change the way that you do business. So why don't you just remove the fear of looking dumb, being embarrassed, not being consistent. You've done harder things than just being consistent on TikTok. So tell me in the chat if you're gonna be consistent. Who's not tech savvy? Next week, the lazy girl way, how to edit your videos to where it's not super overwhelming. We're gonna talk about hooks, why they're so important. We're not scared of the word SEO anymore, right? We can do this.